For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Atwell's Camping and Leisure with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you guys a review on a new awning from Van Gogh. So this is a driveway awning called the Van Gogh Galley Compact. So the Galley awning's been in the range for a couple of years now and it's been obviously cements its name as probably one of the better driveway awnings on the market. So this is basically a compact version, so it's actually a bayless, but all the same sort of features that you find in the normal galley. So again, again as the galley also comes with um, different sizes, so you have a low and a tall. So a low is designed to fit sort of 180 to 210, so that's gonna be most likely your T5s, your bongos, that sort of stuff. Alternatively, they do a tall version, which is about 245 up to about 290, which is more like your Motone style things. Um, and basically the galley sort of compact is a really nice sort of small compact model. It's side fitting on so it faces the same way as your vehicle would normally. Um, yet again it means that when you pitch up you're looking down the line of the thing rather looking to next door's um, pitch and whatever they're up to. It uses a 420 denier fabric so it's a nice thick fabric. Uh, so it's one of the thickest on the market. It's five times thicker than your normal sort of generic uh, tent fabric and sort of driveway fabric. But it's also double ripstock as well so it's very strong. Um, so if you get a small little nick or tear, it's going to remain that one position rather than carry on and spreading and getting worse. Also, this is available in a reverse or the standard. So the galley low or the galley low reverse, the reverse faces the opposite direction facing that way. So if you ever want it to fail the same way as a tailgate or the same way as it is, it depends on where, how often you go to the tailgate, you see. Really, the reason you have a tailgate version is so if you use tailgate and cook out of it, you don't have to walk out of the awning all the way around the back and go to the tailgate itself. You can quite simply have it facing the same way. It's just neater and all together. One thing you can see is you've still got a nice big canopy area here. So you've got, even if you haven't got the ability of cooking facilities in the vehicle, you've got somewhere you can actually have a bit more shelter and sit out on a nice evening and be quite pleasant. You've got beautiful, nice wide uh, webbing straps here to give you structurally strength on the front. Guy ropes again to give you stability on the width. And you've got Vanga's line lock system as well, which just helps to make things adjusting it easier. So you can check out our pitching and packing video on this particular item uh, on our website as well as our YouTube channel to show you how quick and easy it really does go up. And it's myself putting it up and I do it in about sort of if you're looking at eight or ten, eight, nine minutes, which is pretty good for a driveway only when you're looking to tour around everywhere. Beautiful big PVC windows again, uh, not only in the sides, but also in the roof as well to offer plenty of light and clarity into the awning itself. And then each beam is done individually um, in terms of when you pitch it. So the joys means if you wanted to have a spare inner tube for any reason, one inner tube will go in any of the main beams itself. When we're talking about the actual inside of it as well, you've got uh, other bits and bobs as well as ventilation panels below the windows as well to give you our circulation of air to help sort of fight condensation. But let's talk a, a bit more about the ins and outs of it as we have a look at what it's got to offer inside. So now inside the galley compact, you kind of get a bit more better grasp for how it's all laid out. So you can see you've got a nice big canopy area here, which gives you a good shelter, which enables you to pretty much have a nice flat fronted door, which actually, for the, the floor plan of the actual awning itself, is actually quite small. And it feels a lot more roomy inside of it because of this flat front door. You've still got room in sort of the canopy area if you want to put some sort of chairs in, in the night time and you've got a bit of shelter, that works well. Alternatively, obviously you've got a front door on the zealed here so you can zeal it all up. And you've also got a mesh panel as well. So by putting the mesh in, you can get good circulation by having rain coverage on the front. And it just does, you know, gives you a good circulation here to keep it a nice bit more fresh and airy. The ventilation panel along the top as well also helps with that same feature as well as the ventilation panel um, above the, sort of below the window. It really is just down to keeping it, you know, help condensation, have a circulation there, so it's not getting stuffy in here and the moisture can actually escape. On, throughout the tent, you've actually got um, nice clear PVC windows, which also have curtains to actually zip it up when you want to. So when you even have a bit of privacy, you can zip it up like so, and it just, it's a bit nicer and neater than using sort of toggles, you see. And yet again, it means you can have it halfway and sort of have a bit more compromise and versatility in the actual item itself without sort of going, you know, gun ho And when you can do it is just roll it down into the bottom. There's a little toggle point just down there and just keeps it all neat and tidy. Overall, I think it's basically the same as the galley, just it's one section shorter. But I would probably say in terms of the price point, I think really the galley is still going to be a better selling model. A lot of people will go for this if you just want a little bit more smaller space and if you're not going to put an inner bedroom in I think it's going to be fine. As soon as you put an inner bedroom in like we have here, I think it to me it just seems to take up a bit too much room. So it takes up half of the internal space in the awning itself and do 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 do.
So yeah, it just gives you a bit more of an idea about it. So it takes about half the room inside. And like I said, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but I think you've only got this amount of room to then live in. I think if you're looking to put an inner bedroom, I definitely would go for the galley. In fairness, I think the galley, if they have that extra section longer, it's still the same width out from the awning. It still goes along the side of your vehicle on the side. So I think, personally, in my opinion, probably the galley is the better buy than the compact. It's nice to have a smaller range, you know, a smaller model in the range if you need to feel, you know, you want to go for it. But I think overall, that would be probably the way I would personally go to. Um, you still got option extras like footprints and carpets for this particular item, as well as a new feature called a skyliner. So skyliner is basically like a, a kind of roof, uh, roof liner that goes inside of here uh, and actually helps to uh, basically help with condensation and give you almost like a double glazing effect to keep it a bit cooler in here and also a bit warmer in a, a colder day. Um, so it's sort of like you're double glazing really for your vehicle. One thing you've got which actually the sky rail goes on to is this part here. So this is the sky rail and like I said the skyliners just feed onto this quite simply. And you can buy these extra sky hooks to go on the rails and it just basically feeds on like it would with a cader system. So it just feeds on and then you've got a hanging point pretty much anywhere on the beam. Um, so you can hang a lantern or you know so you can hang multiple lanterns if you wanted to. So it's really nice and versatile in that sense. And it's just got a clamp system so you can actually leave it in position when you need to as well and it just slides off quite simply. You've got a door which obviously leads you into the main sort of living area, uh, sort of the storage area of the sort of way between your vehicle and the awning itself. Um, admittedly on this particular model, because of the narrow width of the attachment, so you're looking about a metre and a half, probably yeah, about a metre and 25 here, it then has to go out to about two and a half metres um, to the vehicle. So you kind of get this kind of funnel shape, which really doesn't, unlike the main galley, you've got area for storage, you do lose that in this particular model. And certainly if you're looking for the galley tool, it goes from, yeah, like about one and a half metres out to about three metres. So you've got a real quite severe tunnel on the go there. Um, I mean, really that area is just a, 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 some sort of sheltered area to go to and from the vehicle. So it doesn't matter too much, but like I said, the Gallon Galley probably gives you a bit more in terms of storage. A nice neat feature as well is the fact that the zip part here comes down. So there's no actual lip into the attachment area and so it means it's nice and smooth and because it's obviously sheltered it doesn't matter if, it, if you leave that attachment down water's not going to pretty much come in but overall nice little model certainly things with like the sky track and the roof liners and the extra features you can buy for this model i think it's going to be a bit of a winner really and um, for that smaller market you just want something you know not quite as big or sizable as the galley galley's probably like i said a nice option uh galley compact could be a good model like I say, it comes in reverse as well so double check the sizes of what you're looking for and which way you want it to face with the reverse uh, but of course if you have any more questions or queries you can always contact us at awards and we're happy to help as well as measure your vehicles and any of more advice you need with sort of industry finance or uh, package deals so let us know if you need any more help apart from that i think yeah again a nice improvement and a new model for the vango driveway range